superantigens. To understand what superantigen is, following two concepts should be clear to us. Antigen recognition by T cells. And how these T cells are activated and differentiated. Let's have a quick look at these concepts. When there is an infection by bacteria or virus, the antigen presenting cells such as dendritic cell engulfs the pathogen, digest it into peptide fragments and, present it to circulating T cells as, MHC antigen complex. T cells bind to this antigen via the T cell receptor and this binding is specific. Also the corceptor CD4 or CD8 bind to the MHC molecule. This is, conventional antigen T cell receptor binding. Once recognition is done, the T cell get activated. It proliferates and differentiates into effector and memory T cells, which are specific for the antigen. Now, here we saw that for activation of T cells, the specificity of the antigen is a must. T cells will not undergo activation and differentiation process if they cannot recognize the antigen, or in other words antigen is nonspecific. But, there is a special group of antigens, which induce a very strong and drastic T cell response, when there is no specific antigen. They lead to overactivation of T cells to an infection. Such antigens are known as superantigens. Let's find out how superantigens do this. Have a look at the details of the conventional antigen T cell receptor binding. This represents the T cell receptor on the T cell. This is MHC2 molecule displaying the specific antigen on APC. Here, note that antigen is specific to the T cell receptor. Now have a look when superantigen is present. Here the antigen is not specific to the T cell receptor. So how this binding occurs? Superantigen binds simultaneously to the T cell receptor and MHC molecule. It has been found that, these superantigens bind to the variable domain of beta chain of the T cell receptor. This binding mimics the conventional antigen T cell receptor binding. Now, T cell is activated nonspecifically. It divides and differentiates into effector cells. These effector T cells release cytokines which further stimulates other cells of the immune system. The number of T cells sharing V beta domain is high, as a consequence, these superantigens activate large number of T cells with different specificities. As a result, massive quantities of cytokines are released. These cytokines stimulate other cells such as macrophages and other phagocytes. The overproduction of cytokines such as tumor necrosis factor alpha interleukin-6 and interleukin-1 result in endothelial damage, circulatory shock and multi-organ failure. Superantigens are actually toxins produced by many pathogenic bacteria and viruses. Well-known superantigen disease is food poisoning by Staphylococcus aureus. Food poisoning is caused by the staphylococcal enterotoxin. It is characterized by fever, vomiting and diarrhea. It also produces the superantigen responsible for toxic shock syndrome. So, now we understand that. Superantigens are, a special group of antigens that cause nonspecific activation of T cells. Superantigens escape normal antigen processing by antigen presenting cells. They bind directly to T cell receptors and MHC molecule. 
This nonspecific binding by superantigens promote massive activation of immune cells and consequently massive release of cytokines. It results in life-threatening autoimmune-like response. It can lead to endothelial damage, multi-organ failure, and death.